Okay, in this game, um, well, I don't know what happened. I'll just show you the game. That's my usual D4. I like a D4. I used to be a D E4 player, but not nah, nah. More a positional. I think I'm a positional, positional tactical, whatever. So my strategy in the opening is to <laughs> develop one piece, one element in the queen side, and I go back and forth. Queen side, king side, queen side, king side, back and forth, back and forth. Let's see, there you go. So first there, then king side, then queen side. And I'm mindful of like what my opponent is doing, but not so much. I'm just trying to achieve like whatever kalokohan I'm doing. <laughs> so in the opening, you got to develop in the middle, make your pieces, and then secure the king. Uh, develop your pieces, control the center. Uh, keep the king safe from any kind of attack, attack from middle, the sides, and then uh, just play chess. Meaning just put them in good squares. So this is an attack and this is not much of an attack. So in this idea, instead of going here and then doing that idea, like bishop retreating here, knight takes, pawn takes, and then it's kind of impenetrable. I'm trying to make him commit to push pawns, see, push more pawns, and then go there. That way, he's gonna take my bishop anyway, so, but I might as well put it to good use of making uh, pawns committed. And so, I still achieve this, uh, the structure, but I'm, I've made this pawn moves, pawns that are next to the king. So, there's a diagonal open there now, so he can't be like a that structure, the uh, uh, point guard st or spearheading structure that the bishop cannot penetrate. So that's a weak square now. Hmm. So he goes there, he goes there, he eats, he eats. So, uh, okay. Takes, takes. Okay, that's weak for me, but ho oh, hoy. So he had to think, um, he retreated instead of taking that pawn. Okay, well, I protect that pawn. Outpost, outpost. Position, position, not to do too much crazy attacks. So it attacks my thing, attack, attack. So in this end game, considering the pawns, where the pawns are, basically if I exchange queen, queen, rook, 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 it's knight versus bishop. So all I have to do is put my pawns in on light squares, and then that bishop would be useless. But right now, I have one, two, three, four, five that on a dark square that so that's kind of like uh, edgy I wouldn't want to go to the end game with that so no end games so he checks oh brilliant okay so that's a problem that diagonal is a problem but like that's more of a problem than that diagonal Okay, so he sees it. Okay, he, he takes. But I intermediate check. He goes here. Okay. I had to think about this, this move right here. Because it took me like a minute or two to think of like giving my my knight a pawn sacrifice so that like my queen can go here and start harassing his king. So thinking, 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 he has to take my knight because it's a fork on the king with this position he, it's so he has to take I have the tempo uh, tempo is more important an attack to the king so he has to go there check again he goes there then I go here like attacking here is another check and a bunch of checks and check he goes back and check and check 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 so that's a lot of things to calculate so he he goes there, then I have to think about like where to go to. Go up or go down. Go up closer to the king. It's because he can and then away from the diagonal. From here he has a discovered maybe a perpetual. So I can check him here, and then he's mated. He can check me here. I check him and then he's mated. So that's his solution is to put if I put is to commit the queen for not moving because if I put it here he simply takes it and I'm checkmated 
But he, what he didn't see is this move. Boom. <laughs> Checkmate it. Ho <laughs> ho! Right there. <laughs> Oh, mm-hmm.